So today I'm coming to you from Singapore. Let's see if you can see this view. Check this out. Oh yeah. This view is insane. And if you go down there at night, they have this light show over the bay. It's pretty ridiculous. And then I think this Lotus building right here is the Museum of Art and Science. But Singapore has one of the highest per capita incomes in the world of any country. And I just came from Bali to Singapore, which was like a stark contrast. It's Bali has a huge income disparity and it's a, it's much more third world. Things are very chaotic and disorganized. And Singapore is like one of the most orderly countries in the entire world. I don't think you're even allowed to spit on the sidewalks here or you get ticketed. So it's like a whole nother level here. Um, but it's so cool to come and see the cultural differences country to country you know we're not that far apart it was a two-hour flight I'm still in Southeast Asia but it's like a completely different world here so very interesting and it's also uh it's just a culture shock to be back in first world country but today I want to talk about exposing yourself to different influences and doing things that maybe don't have an immediate payoff so a lot of times we get started in business and we're always looking for that immediate payoff. What can we do right now to get an ROI? But business is long term. It's a, it's a lifelong pursuit. And if you want to be an entrepreneur, that's probably going to be your identity forever. And so you want to be patient and give it time and do things that don't have an immediate payoff. So I remember reading a couple of years ago about what makes a good CEO in their 30s. What should somebody do in their 20s if they want to be a CEO of a large corporation in their 30s and this person said that they should travel the world in their 20s this seems kind of contrary to other advice that people might give which is like to climb the corporate ladder like work hard stay late at the office show up early all that stuff this person was saying you should expose yourself to all different cultures and travel around the world so that you have this perspective and I remember when I first started traveling, somebody had asked me, they, this person was in their 50s, and they said, when you're my age, do you think you're just going to be jumping from job to job? Because at the time, I was, I was moving around a lot, and I was traveling the world, and I was kind of living out of a backpack and doing different entrepreneurial things, starting different businesses. And because this person saw me doing that, they thought that I was going to be like that forever. And maybe I will always be traveling and things like that. But I think what they didn't understand was the the long-term benefits of exposing yourself to all sorts of different influences, different cultures, different kinds of people, different businesses, and how that plays into success later in life. So business involves interacting with large amounts of people and understanding human psychology and motivation of all kinds of different people. And so one of the best things you can do for yourself is to understand people outside of just your local community, outside of the culture that you're familiar with, the things that you grew up with that are totally ingrained in you. Go somewhere else, expose yourself to things that are completely different from you, and that's going to open your mind. It's going to expand your horizons. And they've done scientific studies on this too, like expats, people that have lived in other countries are better problem solvers than people who have never done that. They're also uh, higher rated on the big five personality traits in openness. So living in different cultures like this really expands your mind, opens you to seeing things differently, um, but also gives you perspective to empathize with people that are very different from yourself. And we can even apply this to like the local lead gen model, which is what we teach in WFA, the flagship program at digitalnomad.com, because this is the easiest way to get into marketing and start an online business without lots of capital or experience. Um, it's one of the easier things to market for is local businesses. But if you work with different kinds of clients, you kind of got to put yourself in different shoes. You got to figure out what are people motivated by? What's going to attract somebody into this client's business? And for me, it's really fun. It's like a psychological experiment where can I try and think like this person who's nothing like me? And then what words would they respond to? That's kind of your job as a marketer is like understand the customer. What's the customer going to respond to? Put the messaging out, test it, see what works, see what doesn't. Uh, and then just do more and more of what works. So once you test it, you find a message that works, you do more and more and more of that. Um, but you need to understand people and how they're different than you. And so I found, to make a long point on this one, 
um, exposing yourself to different cultures and like traveling is one of the best things you can do as an entrepreneur, which I think a lot of people don't realize because it's that coming back to that story of somebody sees you traveling and they say, what's the ROI on this? And there's no ROI right now, next month, six months, uh, but the five year and the 10 year ROI on, on culture and travel and perspective is massive. Over the period of your life, it's gonna pay off in such big ways. When you compare yourself to somebody who's never really gotten outside of their own neighborhood, they've never seen the world, they don't understand different cultures, um, and they don't understand how things work on a global scale at all, or different perspectives, you're gonna have a massive, massive advantage, especially 10 years down the line. So if you wanna run a big business, um, you wanna become a leader, you want to make an impact, things like that. Put yourself into different experiences, different cultures, understand different people, and it's gonna have a big impact on your own personal development and your leadership development and your ability to succeed in business, even if it doesn't seem like an immediate ROI. That's a big theme, I think, lately, is just like do things that don't have an immediate ROI because the long-term ROI is where it's at. So again, we're here in Singapore. I'm at the Marina Bay Sands Hotel. This is this crazy hotel. It looks like a kind of like a cruise ship is on top. It's one of the weirder hotels I've ever seen. That's a marketing lesson for another day. Uh, but you can see that the infrastructure here is pretty incredible. Let me know what you guys thought of this. Put it in the comments below. I will see you on the next one.